Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ray Fit, and I'm coming back with another video. You did peep the fitted though. Yes, sir. That shit hard, ain't it? Gotta get the thumbnail, like a bit. But say, like, it's on the bitch outside. I can't make this shit up, y'all. But look, man, I want to talk to y'all about keeping this shit pee, keeping this shit clear, like I always do. But before we get into that, if you never seen me before, if you never seen any of my videos, if you're not subscribed yet, welcome. My name is Ray Fetty. But look, right now, I'm on the road to 500 subscribers, you dig? And whenever I reach 500 subscribers, man, I will be doing a subscriber giveaway. So make sure you hit that notification bell to be alerted for whenever I do drop that 500 subscriber video. You feel me? You want to be first in line. You don't want to pull up late to the party and expect to get some when you're not. You did. But I said I don't want to talk to y'all about keeping this shit clear. So that's what we finna get into right now. Let's dive right into it. You did. So you got to learn how to hold a conversation with the skis. You feel me? Like, it's not hard, bro. All you have to do is be in the flow state of the conversation. Don't try to force no conversation. If you got to force a conversation with a bitch, then I feel like you shouldn't even be talking to her because she's not even that interested in you, dog. You see, when a bitch is interested in you, you don't have to carry the conversation. You feel me? She'll, she'll carry the conversation if need be. You hear me? Y'all will just bounce back off of, off, of, off of the conversation. Y'all will bounce off of each other. The vibe will just be in sync with each other, you feel me? And you won't have to force anything. You won't feel like you're deprived of your energy. You're forcing the conversation or, you know what I'm saying, type shit. But you want the bit to be comfortable. I cannot stress this enough. The schizer has to be comfortable with you. And she has to be comfortable about everything that y'all talking about. And you have to actually have great conversation that's actually refreshing. You cannot be asking the same questions like, what you doing? Uh, what's your sign? Little bullshit questions. Nah, bro, you got to actually make her interested. You feel me? You got to have sexual tension in your conversation. You got to make her excited. You have to make her excited to want to see you on top of that. You did. But... You want to get into a flow state, bro, and you just want to be smooth. You want your conversations to go smooth. You want that shit to be like a canoe in the lake. You did. Uh, you have to be present. You really have to be present in the conversation. You have to pay attention to what you say, and you have to pay attention to what she say. And at the same time, you have to rebuttal off of what she's saying in the moment. Now... I mean, you can come up with other questions and shit, but you don't want to sound like a robot. You did? You don't want to keep asking, what's your name? Where you from? What do you like to do for fun? When is your birthday? What's your favorite? You don't want to sound like a robot. You feel me? You want to sound natural. You want to sound like you're flowing. You want to just be smooth with this shit. Like I said, bro, it's really not that hard. But also, you have to learn how to talk you have to learn how to communicate and this comes with practice you did like you have to constantly be working on your crowd this shit don't come overnight you learning how to talk smooth to a bitch how to talk to a bitch that shit don't come overnight no nah, that shit do not come overnight you really have to practice this shit you feel me you have to get out in the field and you got to put your game to the test you hear me and you can't be unconfident. You have to be confident within your conversation. You have to be confident within yourself. You have to know who you are. You have to know your worth. You have to know your value. And you have to know what you're capable of. And you have to know that you're headed somewhere, that you headed for greatness. You did. Because a bitch can peep that all about you. That's why these bitches, some bitches, that's why they, they can pick a nigga that's down on his ass and stick with him through thick and through thin because of his mindset, because of his confidence, because he knows he's headed for greatness and they can peep that type of shit. You see, a bitch can peep whenever you flaw, whenever you faking, whenever you ain't shit, whenever you ain't got no ambition or no hustle to yourself, a bitch can really peep that. I swear to God, I ain't lying to you. They might just not tell you that. But 
you also have to learn how to have delivery. You have to learn how to have cadence. You have to learn how to sing to a bitch. And when I say sing to a bitch, I don't mean like <laughs> start singing like a real song and get to singing like Chris Brown in this hoe. Nah, nigga. You have to learn how to sing to a bitch with your voice in a sense to schizzle. Like, for example, with a song, Peace Hardly by Young Boy. I can barely get peace hardly. Lie like they are, and I see all these people want to scheme. I just won't be when it's war, ain't no styling. All night we be stalking, let's see where they hiding, where they be. We slain that he die in the street. You see how my voice fluctuated at certain moments and went up and down at certain key moments. And how I delivered some words, it was a punctuation at the end of certain words, and it was a space between some words. You feel me? That's the way you have to hold your conversation, bro. See, they not gonna tell you that, but Ray Fitty gonna tell you that you did. I'ma get you right, bro. Quit listening to them niggas, bro. Listen to me, bro. I'ma have you out here right. I'ma have your game on point. I'ma have your swag on point. Everything like. They not gonna break it down like how I break it down to you, bro. I just broke that shit down like I'm talking to a third grader, you hear me? Like, so let's go back over this shit. You have to learn how to, you have to learn how to have cadence, delivery, and flow in your conversation whenever you talking to a schizo. You have to make the schizo feel comfortable whenever you talking to her. Don't force the conversation. You feel me? Those are the key factors to holding a conversation with a schism, you feel me? Now, what type of what type of conversation do you want to have with a bizzle? How, like what to say? Ha, that's another story for another day. I can't give you everything. You can't have your cake and eat it too, you hear me? But those are just the main key points that you have to keep in mind whenever you're talking to a bizzle, man. Just to keep her interested, bro. You have to learn how to hold a conversation. Conversation rules the nation. I mean, damn, it ain't nothing. I mean, it ain't nothing else to it. That's how you get a bit. It's by conversation, bro. It ain't about splurging on her and doing all that shit. Nah, bro, we ain't tricking. We ain't simping. We ain't tricking for no treats. You hear me? It's all about conversation. It's all about your swag, bro. It's all about how you present yourself. It's all about your mind frame. You feel me? It's, it's all about your swagger, bro. I'm not lying to you, bro. This shit has to be in you. That shit is not on you. I cannot stress that shit enough. All that trying to buy designer shit, Gucci down, Louis down. Yeah, that's cool if you got it. If you ain't got it, that's okay for right now. You don't have to be like them. You don't have to keep up with the Joneses, bro. Because nine times out of ten, them type of niggas, they have insecurities, they flaw, and they're trying to cover up something. I ain't lying to you. You don't have to dress like that, bro. This shit is in you. This shit is not on you. But that wraps up this video, man. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm gone.